Okay, we've got the tree pulling kit installed, and probably the first thing you notice, different than the fiddle block set, is we're actually using the pull rope inside these pulleys right here to, to create the mechanical advantage. You gotta keep in mind, if you're gonna build a five to one using the same rope you're pulling the tree over with, or you're building the speed line with, you're gonna need a fairly long rope, so, so always be thinking about that. That's a nice feature of the fiddle blocks is it attaches to the, the line itself and I don't necessarily need five times more rope than I normally would to pull this tree over. So here, just like in the fiddle block set, I've got a friction hitch put on the line. Line goes down through the pulley, back up through the pulley, back down through the pulley, back up. And if you count the parts of line, I've got one, two, three, four, five parts of line pulling on the tree. So I'm able to create five to one mechanical advantage. Again, I weigh 200, so potentially I could create up to 1,000 pounds of pulling force all by myself. One another thing you'll notice, there is no cleat on here, so if I were to go slack on the rope, it's just gonna fall back. But there's a way to overcome that situation. And if you find the main line, which we have right here, I can take this, uh, this other prussic loop that's supplied with it, I'm just going to go ahead and tie a three coil or six finger prussic loop. As you can see, I went around three times, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six fingers. And I'll take that, open up the carabiner, and clip it back in. Now watch what happens when I pull tight. That's why these are called prussic mining pulleys, because as I pull tight, the, the bell shape or the flat surface on the pulley is advancing my friction hitch right there. So now when I pull tight and I go to give it some slack, I can just adjust that out, and it's going to keep my line fairly tight. I'm going to keep, or I'm going to gain most of what I'm pulling. So again, I pull tight. My prussic gets advanced. I can move it out when I go slack. So I've got my system held pretty tight. Go ahead and cut the tree, Mark. We've talked about the components of the tree pulling kit. Now I'll show you how to install it. Tim, come on in. I'm going to have you give me a hand. Tim, I'm going to give the friction hitch one of the pulleys and a carabiner. Here I've got a 10x sling timber hitch to the tree. I'm going to go ahead and put one of my carabiners right in here. Now remember, that's a pretty tight bend ratio right there, so make sure I don't overload the system when I'm pulling. I always try to keep that in mind. I'm going to put one part of my pull line that's tied to the tree into my pulley. Then I'm going to take Tim's pulley here and put another part right in that. I'll have Tim hold that for me. Take the other part of the pull line. the other part in here. And if I get Tim to do seven wraps on this with a friction hitch, clip both ends right back into both eyes. That's one. That's two. I'm going to get Tim to turn down the first couple of turns for me. And now we can pull it tight. And again, just like with a fiddle block set, we've been able to create five to one mechanical advantage.